Hi everyone, happy Friday afternoon. Getting close to starting the drywall finishing tomorrow. As you know, you've seen me secure all the panels in place, all the sheets of drywall, and it's now reached the point tomorrow, Saturday, it's the uh, gonna be the uh, 25th tomorrow. Gonna start finishing, seaming and finishing the drywall. And I thought I would go over a few tools of the trade that really helped me when I've uh, all through my life draw drywalling and sheetrock finishing and particularly uh, when I did the uh, house. First thing that you'll notice here is I have what's called the traditional drywall sheetrock tape. And what this does is it has a, uh, you know, a, uh, like a hump down the middle of it. I don't know if you can really see that But it has a sort of a hump point where you can see that uh, it's very easy to uh, To bend this in half and this is traditionally used for Making uh, making corners where two wall joints meet also for uh, ceilings where panels meet and That's uh, one thing that you but they also have a uh, they also have developed a uh, fiberglass type of tape, which I really like. And the reason that I really like it is when you apply this to the uh, wall, it's sticky on one side, so it sticks up in place. There's been some controversy, though, about uh, the ability of uh, the uh, fiberglass tape to hold on the uh, board over time. There's been... Uh, some controversy about cracking and things like that and it's, it's been a year or so since I finished drywall and I talked uh, sheetrock finishing I talked to my local supply house and asked them where the controversy stands now and they said the uh, tape is so good these days that uh, you really don't have to worry about uh, being uh, defective or coming off of the uh, sheetrock so I have a couple different uh, widths here. I'll use this one in the ceiling when I'm really uh, spanning something with a little more gap and I want something that holds up really well on the ceiling and gives a lot of wide holding power. And for medium applications, I have the uh, three inch, four inch tape and this is like a uh, six inch, uh, seven inch tape here. And uh, for Doing corners, I found this thing called No Coat Ultra Flex, and this stuff is fantastic for making inside, inside corners, and in particularly, I still like to use metal, uh, metal the uh, tin outside uh, corners for uh, walls and things, just for the extra strength that the metal gives the uh, spring steel. But for doing inside corners and stuff, this stuff is fantastic. It's like firm, but you can lay this, you can bend this. It's a very rigid product and it, it has plenty of flaps for uh, drywall mud on the side and great adhesion to stick into uh, corners. It's really expensive though. This is $50 for 100 feet. It's not cheap, but it's really great for making, uh, for making good corners. When it comes time to uh, finishing, you can see over here I have two uh, 62 and a half pound buckets of the drywall mud. I don't just use it directly out of the container. I have my uh, stir. I'll take in uh, maybe five pounds at a time. I'll transfer it into another bucket, add a little bit of water to thin it down and make it easier to use and dry slower. I'm uh, using the uh, paddle here to uh, stir it. And I'll put a, uh, using my different applica application trowels here, you'll see I have three different sizes here. A really wide, a medium, and a uh, not so wide one. And uh, what this actually does is I go put on three progressive coats of drywall. First I'll stick the uh, fiberglass tape on, get that in position good, and I'll hit it the first time with the uh, drywall, the uh, sheetrock mud here, reduced a little bit or uh, thinned a little bit with water. Once that's dry real good, I'll come back and do a second application. It'll be a wider sort of application. And when that's good and dry, I'll come back with the widest application. And what that does is allow for a really smooth contoured finish with a lot of feathering on the side. That it, uh, 
it gets a really smooth finish. Remember, the more care you take in applying the uh, drywall uh, mud and the uh, application with the trowel, the easier it's going to be to uh, finish sanding because everybody dreads the sanding because it's such a uh, mess. But I also have uh, the uh, respirators to wear too because you sure don't want to inhale that uh, dust from the uh, drywall application from uh, the mud when you're sanding down the dry mud. And finally, I have sanding blocks which make it real easy. And there's also overhead pole sanders too that make it real easy to finish off the uh, get the drywall uh, sheetrock super level after the uh, taping and mudding. We go back and hit all the uh, screws that aren't on seams with uh, mud, a couple applications there, and we get everything ultra smooth. So these are the tools of the trade that we're going to be using particularly tomorrow. I'm going to go in this afternoon. Rosie on the job. I got two more uh, two more panels to get down in there and uh, I want to have everything all set for tomorrow. That brings you up to speed. Thanks for watching. Today I was just going to do a little show and tell with the tools of the trade, but you know Rosie, I got carried away. I wanted to get the uh, ceiling up there and at least an initial coat on it. And you can see the about the uh, thickness of the uh, not the widest, not the medium, but the smallest uh, width trowel that I have working it. And you can see uh, you can see the importance of why you needed to get everything really uh, level on the uh, ceiling because that's just going to look perfectly level when it's all <clears throat> when it's all feathered out. The next coat will be the uh, medium width, and that'll uh, that'll help smooth things up even more. And then we'll finish with the uh, wide trowel. And then we're going to come back and do something uh, called skim coating, which really produces what's called a level 5 uh, finish, and I'll be talking about that. That's the uh, highest standard of finish that you can get on uh, sheetrock, and it basically means working with a very uh, liquidy uh, mud and uh, troweling that on and almost immediately scraping it off, and that fills in all the microscopic low spots on the uh, sheetrock and then you come back with uh, one really fine final sanding and you're ready to uh, prime and paint after that so tomorrow the uh, plan is to get these long runs down the side <clears throat> done we have the compound angle up here to do and we'll be using the uh, paper tape for that and then for the uh, major angle here that's about a 25 foot run we'll be using the uh, <clears throat> using what I call the, uh, heck that stuff is called the Duraflex, Ultraflex here. That stuff that's real good for uh, making uh, corner joints. I want something that maintains some rigidity to get a really uniform line down these uh, sides. I want somebody to be able to stand on that ladder and eyeball down that uh, side and just say, wow, that is one super fine straight level line okay so got a good job today and i just can't help myself sometimes just a hard work and broad so <laughs> all right everybody thanks